One more go of your bubbly. It don't matter if there ain't no juice left in it. I'll give it you back honest. I won't swallow it. Wow. <laughs> That's through being stingy, Michael. It's not fair. I wish I had some money to get some bubbly with. Hmm. I wonder if my dad's in a good mood or if he's in a bad mood. Audrey, fill this up while you're doing now. Thought you was asleep, Alf. I don't think. You know it makes you go dizzy. Hm. You can't hardly drink tea with a newspaper over your face anyway, can you? Just pour the tea, my sweet little centipod. Yours is not to reason why. Yours is but to do. I'll get your housekeeping docked. And give the fire a poke, will you? Don't be so idle. I hope our Billy's all right. Been gone a long time. Ah, bless, isn't it? Come on, let's hurry up and flip before he comes back. Oh, he's here now. Oh, bloody hell. Dad? I'm not in. Yes, well, it's a pity you didn't take your smelly feet with you when you went out then, isn't it? Careful, Audrey. Dad, I was just wondering. Aye, we'll just wander off again. <laughs> I like it when you're in a good mood, Dad. Hm. That'll be the day, Billy Love. Um, have you got any empty buckles to take back? Cos I want to get some bubbly like me friend. Well, you can't. Last time it was all stuck in your hair. Yeah, but I couldn't used to do it then, and they kept popping. But now I can, cos I've been practising. Oh, have you? You were bad from buying it, lad. Yes, you were. Yeah, but I didn't buy it. Michael Morris let me lend his for a bit. You dirty little devil. I liked it first. They want no spit on it. Oh, you're making me eve. Go and brush your teeth. Here. Take mine and do them and all. Ooh, Dad. Yuck. Now, just give over being vulgar, you two. Uh, there's a couple of sterile bottles under the sink, Billy. And while you go into the corner shop, you can get some corned beef for your father's cut-up. And you can fetch me a packet of woodbines and some swan vestas. Ah, I'll never be member all them things, you know. I'll write your note. Don't be soft. It could be there and back by then, and I'm gasping for a fag here. Right, lad, memorise them one at a time. Ten woodbines. Ten woodbines. A box of swan. A box of swan. Two ounces of corn dog. Two ounces of corn dogs. It's corn beef, Billy. How many houses? Good grief. Two. And here's your bag and mine the bottles. And you can get some of it off the penny tray. Right. <laughs> here's your money. Hold it tight now. You know what you want? Um, yeah. Some combines and two ain't me sambos. Bloody hell. Ten woodbines, a box of swan, and two ounces of corn dog, you got. Yeah, that's what I meant. And I might get some Hannah seed balls. You can do lipstick with them. But I don't, because I'm a boy. Now mind the road. And hurry up. And don't talk to any strangers. Right. Um, what do strangers look like, ma'am? So I'll know. With a scruffy mac on and that. A bit like your dad, only with a different head on. Bugger off, Audrey. And don't forget me fags. Right. And stay on the pavement. I will, ma'am, because... I'm trying not to stand on a nick because I'll marry a brick and a beak will come to me wedding. Try! I wish I could whistle. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Is there any more tea in that pot, Audrey? Um, did you say ten boxes of swan beefs, ma'am? Here, I'll write it down. It don't matter. I'll be memorise it. Billy! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I like it when my dad's in a good mood. Can you hear him singing, Michael? 